The Pout Pout Fish by Deborah Dyson. Deep in the water, where the fish hang out, lives a glum, gloomy swimmer with an ever present pout. I'm a pout pout fish with a pout pout face. So I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. Blub, blub, blub. Along comes a clam with a wide winning grin and a pearl of advice for her pal to take in. Hey, Mr. Fish, with your crosstown frown, don't you think it's time to turn it upside down? Says the fish to his friend. Nice thought, Miss Clam. I hear what you're saying, but it's just the way I am. I'm a pout-pout fish with a pout-pout face, so I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. Love, love, love. Along comes a jellyfish. He floats through the ocean, his tentacles all trailing in a gentle locomotion. Hey, Mr. Fish, with your daily scaly scowl, I wish you wouldn't greet us with a grimace and a growl, says the fish to his friend. Mr. Jelly, I agree. I'd like to be more friendly, but it isn't up to me. I'm a pout-pout fish with a pout-pout face. So I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. Love, love, love. Along comes a squid, quite a slender squiggly sight. She is squirmy, she is squelchy, she is slightly impolite. Hey, Mr. Fish, you kaleidoscope of mope! How about a smile, a little joy, a little hope? Says the fish to his friend. Mrs. Squid, I would try, but I haven't any choice. Take a look and you'll see why. I'm a pout-pout fish with a pout-pout face. So I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. Love, love, love. Along comes an octopus with eight great arms, covered on the underside with tiny sucker charms. Hey, Mr. Fish, let me tell it to you straight. Your hulky, bulky sulking is an unattractive trait, says the fish to his friend. Mr. Eight, my chum, with a mouth like mine, I am destined to be glum. I'm a pout-pout fish with a pout-pout face. So I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. Blub, blub, blub. Now along comes a fish in a silent silver shimmer. The gang has never seen before this bright and brilliant swimmer. She approaches Mr. Fish but instead of saying, hey, she plants a kiss upon his pout, and then she swims away. Mr. Fish is most astounded. Mr. Fish is just aghast. He is stone 
defaced like a statue. Then he blinks and speaks at last. My friends, says Mr. Fish, I should have known it all along. I thought that I was pouty, but it turns out I was wrong. I'm a kiss-kiss fish with a kiss-kiss face for spreading cheery cherries all over the place. So I'll smooch, 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 smooch. Sometimes a kiss is all it takes to turn things around. Thanks for listening. Did this story turn your little monster into a happy little monster? Hit subscribe or go to happymonsterspod.com to show listener support, submit story requests, and see upcoming episodes. If you're a children's book author, check out the author's corner to have your book considered for an episode. See you next time.